And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gangplank Burn. This is going to be finishing out our day today, and I think this is where we're going to be picking up our wins. We've had a rough day uh, as far as wins go, but we've had some fun, we've been learning, and now we're going to be playing a deck that looks very good. Um, basically, new new burn. You know, PNZ isn't really pulling its weight right now with the units in PNZ not being good enough. Noxus, of course, is just amazing. We see Noxus everywhere. It's like all these Noxus cards are just incredible. But now we're going to be pairing Noxus with Bilgewater. Bilgewater gives us another good one drop, Jagged Butcher, which is better than anything PNZ has. Our Dreadway Deckhand gives us a two drop that can make some of our other damage spells even better. Um, the Powder Keg, you know, it could just even like just do an extra damage with Legion Grenadier, Demolitionist, Disciple, like that kind of stuff. Or it can make like Make It Rain even better. It's not something that we really want with Transfusion, I guess, but, you know, Noxion Fervor, Decimate. We can do some extra damage, so, you know, we got just Deckhand in here for another 2-drop. But then our, our Champions, Misfortune, is amazing and, you know, gets that extra damage, makes blocking these Noxus things even more difficult. It already was difficult to block Noxus units. Now, with the Misfortune, it makes that even more difficult. And then Zap Sprayfin's always drawing, you know, it's a 2-2 two -two elusive, so it's hard to block, and it's always drawing a Burn spell. You know, like, we're always drawing a Fervor, a Mega Rain. Sometimes a Transfusion, which works great with Grenadier. Um, but, you know, like, we're always drawing one of those cards um, with the Sprayfin. And then we got Decimate and Gangplank at the top end. So yeah, looks pretty strong. We're starting back over in Diamond. <laughs> Let's uh, start over and get some wins. Here we go. This is going to be our Road to Masters. We're going we're gonna to play this deck and some more tomorrow and some more sunday that uh, we're going to be playing all good decks and getting up to masters quickly so how many wins do we need let's see you need five wins to get through sec to get through diamond four and then five more for diamond three and so on right so we need 20 wins that's a lot of wins each loss cancels out a win We've gotta get 20 more wins than losses in the next two days in one video we're gonna try it Okay, we're going to mulligan everything. Okay, not really, but... Um, I don't know if I want this Dreadway Deckhand. Okay, yes I do. Yeah, we'll keep it. Because <clears throat> I was thinking that we don't have any spells to really take advantage of the Deckhand, but then I realized that, yeah, we, Misfortune Trigger with, with Deckhand. Of course, that's definitely a combo. <clears throat> and we are attacking turn three. So we'll play Deckhand after they attack turn two, get the Powder Keg, play Misfortune, immediately attack and do two damage to all battling enemies and the enemy Nexus. Flavor and spice. The problem is if they don't attack... Please attack. Thank you. Prismatic Barrier to kill Misfortune. I think it's the word that I'm still just stacking. Or a burn deck. Getting the damage in. I don't have to I don't have to like sit back and like really focus on Misfortune has to level up. We're getting the most damage in that we can. Probably want to just go Crimson Disciple, Precious Pants. Break their spirits and their swords. Let me show you. Never mind, Crimson Disciple, Transfusion. Batter them. Harry, 
Save misfortune. No one goes hungry. Clear off. Look what you did. Yeah, turn three they were at nine. And we had seven power in play still. Made to finish this out. My life for these lands. Oh, this hurts. And they're just dead. GG. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. New burn. So much damage so fast. You know, misfortune with that powder keg kind of meant that they could even block there on turn three. And if you can't block, you're gonna die. I'm just like always so far over here. Let's go this way a little bit. If you can't block, block, you're gonna die. Yeah, turn five win. Not something you see that often, and it's not you know they had they had interaction. They had they were playing their own cards and everything. No, you can't you can't kill a Zed on turn three. I don't think that's that's even possible to kill a Zed on turn three. We're gonna have more time waiting for matches than our actual matches. <laughs> uh, with, with Elixir of Wrath. So double Elixir would still only mean you're attacking for 18. Turn three, you only get six mana. So Zed is three mana. Double Elixir is five mana. So you'd still have to have one other mana. So you'd have to have three Elixirs. Yeah, or or like a one drop. It also does some damage and your opponent does nothing in the first three turns. Clank. Coming in hot. 
I assume they're attacking. Yeah, they attacking. Is what am I doing? Remember the objectives. Should do three to them. Yep. Get him gang plank. That's why we respect you, Captain. Oh, I can't wait. Everything's in place. Boom. So unfortunately, transfusion does two to an ally, but I have this powder keg that we can do two to the powder keg. To give it the plus two plus two. And probably gonna be doing that with the Two one, turn that into a four three. Survive. Let's get a good look at you. Moving into sight. I'll put my name into you. I guess the answer is no. Crying won't do any good. Well, that's too bad. I'll put my name into you. Bed. Legion Grenadier is a heck of a card. I assume we're playing Legion Grenadiers, right? I don't think we've seen any, but we gotta have that. Yeah, we're playing three of that card. Yeah. Yeah, there it is right there. I'm gonna say, I'm assume, assume we're playing that card. I kind of, I think I kind of like Sprayfin. I don't think I want to keep two spray fins, though. Pretty sure we know what, what hit us. I'm going to try to set up the powder keg make it rain for the next turn. A chill in the air. But we can just cast regular make it rain, I suppose. Well, I didn't have decimate. At the time, I just drew into Decimate, but yes, if I would have just done the, the plus two, plus two on them, 
we don't know what else was in their hand. Like they they started to like play a spell and then decided not to. So like they they could have also done something else. I I was pretty sure we were going to be killing them. Like I don't know. I, I thought that we were going to be killing them the next turn. I didn't want to take like the two damage from the Crimson Disciple, and I wanted to get that out of there and make it harder for them to kill us. But yeah, I mean hindsight. Yeah, Noxion Fervor. That's what it looked like they had. Who goes there? I've worked out something special. Slippery. These eyes see all. Arrows at the ready. That would have been a really good time to draw another make it to rain, uh, probably, but we're of course going to be attacking. I thought it was worth it to have the Zap Sprayfin in there attacking as well. Really good hand for them, you know. Like the, they have they've had a quite a good hand. That elixir of iron was nice. Um, I guess they're trying to figure out how to get rid of the spray fin and have the Teemo keep hitting. That's what I'm thinking. They're trying to figure out. their plan is with that. Okay, good six damage. Down to 14. Why are we playing against the slowest opponents today? I hope they didn't disconnect. This was a good game. They had a good hand and stuff. I hope that it didn't disconnect. Yeah, that'll be sad if they just discon if they just disconnected. That'll be sad. I hope not. No opponent, come back. Bleh. Keep up, keep up. All right, I guess we're not, I'm not going to count this as a win either, so we'll just play another one. No, my opponent did not rage quit. They, they weren't even behind whenever this started happening. They definitely got disconnected. How could it have been a, a rage quiz? No, they just... No. Zap Spray Fin does not make rage quids. I 
when you're at 20 life and they play a zap spray thing. I think it's a 0% chance of a rage quit. Okay, it looks like maybe they just got connected back because now it's giving them a lot of time again. So maybe they were disconnected and they just got connected back, maybe. Maybe not. Suppose you want in on this. Oh, suppose I should leave you be. Ow. They're not even here and killing me. Not counting that one as a win. So we're still one and one. It started off as a really good game. I did think that we were going to be winning it. Like I, I was confident in our ability to win the game, but it doesn't mean that we necessarily would have. You never know with Sejuani, uh, frostbiting everybody every turn. You never know. Okay, let's try this matchup again. We're gonna get rid of the deck hand. Um, deck hand with transfusion not being the best combo. Card I want to draw the most oh, is Misfortune. We haven't. We have not been. You know, that first game that we won really fast, we had the Misfortune. That other game we lost did not have Misfortune. Want. Misfortune. No. Oh, I can't wait. Who's gonna get in my way? Who's that you got there? Legion Grenadier is amazing. Awkward. I am big Alfredo, yep. Yeah, deck camp plus fervor can do a lot of damage. My plan if they play Basilisk Rider. We could take that out.
So I was considering I was considering doing transfusion, one damage to that thing, and then pump up the Crimson Disciple and block it and cast the Mega Rain, but then, you know, I don't know if something's gonna die. Like whatever I block with the Crimson Disciple, it dies to Mega Rain. I could have just done the transfusion, but I felt like that was a, a good opportunity for a six damage Mega Rain. You know, adding three additional damage to a card. I think that's a really good use for a powder keg. You know, using using transfusion is another two damage. We're just getting this life total lower with all these things and grenadier and all that kind of stuff. For the empire, make the empire proud. It's like they're trying to do the same thing. Make the life total low. Game's not over. You know that they can respond to my Noxian Fervor with removal, right? But tra transfusion doesn't save Legion Grenadier. Like if they if they have their own Noxian fervor, how do I how do I play around Noxian fervor? I don't I don't know the answer to that. So I decided to do that, where if they had Noxian Fervor, they would have to use it then and, and to stay alive, and it, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know what the best play was against Noxian Fervor, though. I didn't really figure out anything that was great, because even if, you know, if they did have Noxian Fervor, they use it on their 2-3. No, how could I have waited? If I waited, then then Darius just does the 10 damage to me, and then they Noxion Fervor my face, and I lose. Waiting to, didn't work. Because if, if they had Noxion Fervor, then I would lose. If I waited... And tran transfusion wasn't good backup because I needed I needed to noxion fervor my three one. And with my since I need to noxion fervor the three one, that's the thing is they could noxion fervor and kill my three one. And transfusion doesn't save that, and then I I wouldn't have had lethal anymore. 
the transfusion was not protection. So by leading with Jagged Butcher instead of Saboteur against Thermogenic Beam, we made them use all three mana. That's that's why I didn't want to lead with Saboteur was because of Thermogenic Beam. Okay, so you're saying that I just do the same thing I did but don't cast the fur just cast the transfusion don't cast the fervors so then i don't so then what so then i go to my turn and you're saying that i that i should just go to my turn and then just start attacking nothing but the stink of glory and sweat i think i'm pretty sure i'm the first one that has to act no matter what, because they can they can just block. I have my two things, they just block. It's not like I'm killing them. And then if they if I just attack and they block, then what am I gonna noxion fervor? Then I don't have things to noxion fervor anymore. Damn it. I'm pretty sure the onus was on me no matter what. To, like if they have fervor, they can wait longer than I can. You Mana next turn. Fortune favors the bold. Yeah, I like Decimate plus Misfortune. You know, like how they don't have the deny for Decimate right now. Um, but then it's really, do I play Gangplank pre-combat or not? They've already used two thermogenic beams, which that's really the only slow speed removal. So I think I think the answer is yes, because they've already played a couple of thermogenic beams. The flames, the death, it's likely they just have like other spells that would stop things, like fast speed spells. So that's what they're planning on using their mana on anyway. I think the answer is yes for Gangplank. Gangplank situational? In what situation is a 5 mana 5 5 overwhelm not what you want to be playing on turn 5? Isn't this always what you want to do on turn 5? What? I don't think this is a situational card. It's a 5 5 overwhelm. Yep, yeah, Misfortune ability, getting rid of the keg, definitely, you know, using the keg, definitely really nice. It's pretty risky of them not walking, but they're thinking they can gain two life with the Dragonling, I suppose. Blocking would also gain them two life, but I guess they're thinking they can block the next turn anyway. This doesn't change a damn thing, but 
between us. <laughs> if you insist. Yeah. <laughs> they did spend seven mana to gain two life. And and draw one card. And they make a new Dragonling the beginning of the next turn. For spending for two spells. Oh my gosh, that levels up Game Clank. I that's my bad. Yeah, I definitely should have played this and just dealt damage to them to level up Game Plank. I I didn't even look and I didn't I didn't even realize that what a level up Game Plank. I was thinking that, you know, just doing two damage there or having the powder keg for the for the misfortune trigger, I'd rather have it for the misfortune trigger. But yes, I should have. I should have leveled up King Plank. Then obviously we would have gotten a big powder keg anyway. Done that, that the previous turn. My heart longs for the poetry of battle. You will not live long in that attitude. Explosives! What is gained when we return malevolence? The dragon remembers. No, this is, um, this is just the in-game music. Do I need to block? Do they just have 10 direct damage? Oh, they're telling me they just have 10 direct damage and I need to block? Oh, I guess Ezreal was leveled up. updating the commands. Well, that was definitely closer than it needed to be uh, if I would have just cast that parlay right after playing the Gangplank right away and you know, leveled up my Gangplank that game would have been over and I could have also gone for the the um, the plus two plus two I probably should have just done that as well that game was closer than it needed to be definitely was alright Thresh Gangplank um, we're getting rid of Make It Rain. I think we keep Transfusion. I'm not sure. I want to have Transfusion to be able to protect these things. So the Thresh Gangplank deck, like this deck is designed to be completely anti-aggro. 
right? Like, that's that's what we're playing against, is a deck that's completely anti-aggro. And so... It's not going to be the easiest thing for us to defeat. Oh, I can't wait. I play on the North American server. I wish I could. I wish we drew a two drop and I could play like a one or a two drop and I could play those and have transfusion available. But that's not the case. Fortune favors the bold. Oh. And parlay. I wanted to. I was going to knock and fervor this thing when they tried to kill it. the worst mega rain. That was honestly the worst mega rain. At least that thing's gone. What a bad mega rain. Uh, but at least the that other thing's gone. I block the that thing. Yeah, this is blocked. There we go. That makes a lot more sense. that thing. Make it rain that thing again. And then, oh no, no, I shouldn't have said, I shouldn't have said okay, I should knock and fervor my 3-1 and kill their 5-5. Five five. I just kind of clicked the okay thing too fast. I should have killed their 5-3.
Definitely should have done that before. Wasted that T1. Oh, come on. No. Ugh. Ouch. Misfortune is at three out of four. Yeah, like their their deck is completely anti aggro. That this is this is exactly what their deck is built to beat. It doesn't it doesn't beat like I, I've played this deck quite a bit. It, it's amazing against aggro, but it doesn't it's not very good against the non aggro decks, but like this is certainly gonna be like the toughest match that we can have. We wanna draw Zap's Brayfin, I think. I mean, that, that was really bad with me with that Noxian Fervor, not using that. And I just clicked that okay in just the, the split second after I clicked the okay. I was like, wait, no, I need to cast the Fervor also. You know, it was right after. It was just instincts, you know. It's just instincts, play the thing, click okay. Then, I, you know, I don't know. It was just instincts there. Yeah, Decimate would be nice as well to level up Gangplank, but that that wouldn't really help too much though, because then Gangplank just turns into a 6-3, and then you know they can still block with their 3-4 or even their 3 no, their 3-2. Yeah, even their 3-2 could block, so I wouldn't have a powder keg. But yeah, this, this match would have definitely been different, because you know, would have had that would have had that Legion Grunt and Deer, which, you know, I could have maybe even blocked a 3-2 or with it. Basically, they could just not have that three two, and I'd have I'd have nine life. All right. Well, we drew decimate. Does this help? I think if I attack with gangplank, I lose. I think. Because they have that three two. No, I wanted spray thin. All right. Well, if I don't attack, I lose. If I attack, I lose. So, because if I if I attack, then three things die. Thresh levels up. Thresh attacks and puts in gangplank, and we, you know, lose for sure. Um. I don't have, let's see, this would put them down to... Actually, I guess if they block with that thing... Would they go to two? If they block with this thing? With the Petty Officer? I don't have anything that does two damage, do I? Three things die, Thresh levels up. I don't have anything that does two direct damage. That Noxion Fervor play cost me. That cost me that game. The Noxion Fervor play, that 3 2 is gone. They have to block with Thresh. It's just so, so different. Man, I feel bad.
Yeah, Crimson Disciple is like, I do two direct damage. How about me? Oh. Mm. I think I had the tools to win that game. I think I did. Um... I do. I think if if we would just go back and if I you know if I, you know know how that play that game played out, if we would just replay, I think maybe I could have done some different things with the transfusions. Even um, I think I could have done some different things and won that game. Um, even like the turn, like that turn that that my gangplank died with all of those spells playing that noxion fervor turn. I think I should have just attacked with the misfortunes as well, like the mis you know my misfortune and my three one. I think. Even if I just attack with everything, that would have been better too. Or play the Legion Saboteur pre combat. There's a lot of things I could have done differently. <laughs> oh well, uh, this deck looked really, really good. This deck looked really solid. <clears throat> These burn cards are just awesome. Um, we we kind of debated on two Mega Rain, three Transfusion beforehand. Um, how those games played out i could definitely see playing the three make it rain the deck hand did make make it rain better so i could see going three i could see going two and two i don't know transfusion was it was pretty good at times it wasn't necessarily amazing all the time maybe just another gangplank would be better than the second trans than that slot maybe playing one darius we have kind of talked about how like this that one slot uh, could be some different things, you know, Darius obviously being a 10-6, great against the control decks, a little slow against the aggro decks. Um, Misfortune is our only three mana card, you could could have a Draven in there also. You know, like, there's basically, I think these 39, I really like these 39, and then whether you play the third Transfusion, third Make It Rain, um, or you want to play something big. Heck, I don't even hate playing Twisted Fate and just having red card, which is awesome. But then sometimes you go blue cold, you go blue card, gold card. Like Twisted Fate's even great in a burn deck. I don't hate that card either. Or, you know, third gangplank, you play a Swain because it's probably leveled up. I don't know, you can do whatever you want. Like maybe maybe you play a Vladimir and you just kill your own things. And, you know, you do like this Vladimir thing that just drains them and kills them with that. Um... I like these 39, but you know, feel free to do whatever you want with the last slot. Uh, whether you want to play a sixth champion, and all of these champions are good. Katarina's just fine too. Um, you know, or you can, uh, you know, basically play whatever you want. Nothing wrong with hired gun. Nothing wrong with arachnoid sentry. Arachnoid sentry. You want a death sand in there. Be my guest. I don't know. Play whatever you want for that last slot. Uh, Vlad doesn't interact with keg too well. It does. It'll do. It you know it add, it add the powder kegs add one, so it does two damage to all of your attacking enemies, and then it will do just one additional damage after this. So it will double up all the damage to your allies. And then it'll only do one additional damage to them. So it doesn't work with kegs too well. I've tried that before. We've played a, a deck, a Vladimir keg deck, where we where we thought that the keg was going to do like double the damage to them. Like it was going to do two to the enemy nexus for each thing. And no, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right, there we go. That's Gang Plank Burn. And those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. If you got, you know, if you have any great ideas for that last slot, you want to play a, um, I don't know, you want to play a, a Captain Farron for the last card, play a Dreadway to, to grab the Gang Plank, play a Siren, play a Riptide Rex. You know, you can just play a Riptide Rex, I guess, sometimes, you know. I don't know what you want to, whatever you want to do with that last card, feel free to do anything crazy if you got um, anything you want. A Petty Officer. Petty Officer is probably awesome. Yeah, Island Navigator. Um, yeah, Island Navigator is amazing with Misfortune. That's that's That could be the card, is just Island Navigator. That could be the card, because it's just so great with Misfortune. That's probably it. 
But anyway, there we go. That's Gangplank Burn. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will see you for the next video.